Hello class, how you doing? I'm Kevin Guilford. I'm going over some quick volleyball lessons and we're using the passing technique using your forearm. Again, I have my son here, Ryan, will be out with this. And the key is, is when you're doing this from home, if you are with a partner, which hopefully you do have a partner, which maybe your parent or something can help you out, awesome. If not, use your environmental items to be able to help you out throughout the whole class. So again, I kept Ryan out myself with the uh, quick drills and or if Ryan is by himself, you as a student, you can use your environment, which would be a wall like this right here, okay? So what we're gonna do first is called find your center. The whole idea is hand-eye coordination, getting the best ability to have a more of an accurate pass coming back towards you. The ball's being soft towards you, you wanna get the ball get closer to your center of where your body is and know your stomach area. So again, the ball's coming to your left or your right, you wanna move accordingly that way, you get more of an accurate type of pass. When you bend, when you get a light bend, again, you don't want to be like a, like a, like a, a football player, more or less. <laughs> again, better posture, small bend, not more of a squat, per se. And again, prepare the, you know, those hands ready for a forearm pass. All right, so the first drill, again, is called find your center. What we want to do is get the ball come in towards you and make sure you center it correctly, catch the ball. Again, for what he's doing right now, he's sitting on the squat. You don't want to sit on that squat for a long time. What you want to do is, again, you start here and you attack it with the squat. So when the ball comes down, that's when we're going more of that squat technique. So again, you're starting up with a better posture. That way you're able to slide from side to side. And when the ball comes, that's what's up the squat for obviously the, the pass back. So again, if you don't have a partner, that's fine. Use your environment to your ability. Again, even with this small apartment, we're able to find some type of a wall to help you out with this drill. As you throw the ball against the wall, again, he's going to have more of that squat, find the center of where he's at. Now, you give it a shot. Okay, so we obviously got that first drill. A lot of them understand how to use his legs, forearm, and shoulders in this drill. What we're going to do now is we're going to progress to the next drill, which is a forearm pass. You still use the same exact formation how we did before, whether it's with the pass from the partner and we're using the wall. Again, finding your center, getting a nice little knee bend, sinking the hips, not more bending the knee. Again, it's a big difference. Bending your knees compared to sinking your hips, dropping your hips down. It gives a more of a better posture to look for yourself, okay? So again, we're going to try now with the forearm pass. Now, starting off, the ball's coming towards him. Ball's coming towards you. Again, hands are clasped. Get those forearms exposed. And a nice little pop back. Perfect. So this was actually a little bit of a fun drill. This is a drill you can actually practice, whether it's volleyball, whether it's soccer. Um, it's basically volleying the ball to yourself. You don't need a wall. You don't need a partner. All you need is you. Your legs, these arms right here, and try to how many times you can actually volley the ball to yourself or pass the ball to yourself over and over again. Again, we're using the basketball here. It was a little bit tougher, again, but we're using our environment because not everybody has the ability to have a volleyball. Everybody has the ability to have open space or open home. So, again, we're using the environment to our ability. Do not let that hinder you when it comes down to your workouts. You're working from anywhere, any place, using any item in your, in your household primarily to make this thing work out. <laughs> now, you give it a shot. So, again, as you've seen there, he went in a full circle with that drill. Using the basketball, a little bit tougher. Not much buses we have with the volleyball. Not much give that the volleyball would give you. But again, though, do not let your environment or your happenings hinder you from a great workout. Again, as you see here, we have the basketball. We have a small soccer ball. We have items that we can use to make these workouts work. Because the main idea is, is the, the fundamentals of how your body should look when doing it. If your fundamentals are correct, when you actually input the actual ball, it will be working correctly for you, okay? So again, work the fundamentals, get the fundamentals down packed, and from that point, when you actually do use a volleyball or you get with the actual class, it will be easy for you. So in closing, again, all you need is a little bit of space to do your dynamic warm-up. 
a ball, whether it's a small one and or a big one, because we get working fundamentals only. And at the end of the day, do not let your surroundings hinder your workout. It's all about get out there and get a great workout. Tomorrow, we will be working on our overhand passing and on our sets, okay? See you guys then.